Hello everybody. I just want to share my new DYI project, which is a guitar support. And by far is the best I have tried so far. Cost me pretty much zero. And what I have uh, done before, I have used obviously footstools like this. I have used the Hitano. For those that are not familiar, suction cups that you put here on the guitar and then you support this on your leg. And I have also used the Dyna cushion. That you put in here and you rest your guitar on top. Now, problems with those. Practicality, first of all, most of them except the Hitano that you can fold it, that can fit in your guitar case. But all the rest is extra stuff that you have to carry. The Dyna cushion, the problem with it, it apart from pretty, um, the practicality or uh, that you have to carry an extra stuff around, is that whenever I put it on top of it, it sounds. So I have to put something like this on top to make it quiet. See, um, there are others, of course, like the guitar lift, but most of them they use suction cups, and I hate suction cups with passion. Uh, and if you have a high end classical guitar, chances are that it's finished with a French polish, and suction cups are not good for those. So, if you have a guitar that is finished with a poly, then it's fine, uh, but. Of course, there's the extra cost because those, something like guitar lift are, can be quite expensive. There are other solutions, for example, the ones with magnets that you have a support in here. Unfortunately, my guitar has a tornavos, so uh, I cannot put my hands inside and attach or, or glue a magnet on this side so that I can put the other one. So that is not a solution for this guitar, at least. I love this guitar to bits. In fact, all my electric guitars are jealous because all I want to do is play this guitar. So anyway, um, so the, the solution I came up with is extremely comfortable because the other problem with the traditional solutions is that when you have like the footstool, when you lift this leg higher than the other, sometimes it gets numb. You have problems with your sciatic nerve. Another problem is that most of the time when you're using those, the guitar kind of a pushes against your body. So your torse is kind of a dampening the vibrations of the back of the guitar. So it doesn't help to project so much through the sound hole. Also, many times, unless you are someone like uh, Grisha Goryachev or Paul Galbraith, that they can play an entire piece without opening their eyes. Those are aliens, they cannot be human. I, I can't. I, I need to see the fretboard while I play to make sure that I'm putting my finger where it should be. Therefore, most of us have a tendency of doing this with your head so you can see it. And the problem is that a, a grown-up human head is quite heavy. It's like 20 kilos or something. So you're straining your muscles on, on the back. Also, when you have something positioned against your leg, you have a tendency also when you try to sit that you lift your right uh, shoulder and you're adding tension. So it's very difficult to get naturally a good position while you're playing. But with this solution that I came up with, I'm fully rested and comfortable. I don't have to tilt my, my, my head because I can tilt the guitar slightly I'm supported by both legs in here and in here. I'm leaving a gap between my torso and the back of the guitar. And because it's tilted, I can I have full visibility of the fretboard. And I'm not tilting my head or anything. The height is just perfect. It's a very, very comfortable position to play. And all I have done is this. 
So it's a strap button on the cap of the heel. And this, I will show you, is basically shoelace. And on the back, so that is more comfortable, I have a part of that was um, the strap of an old video camera that I had. I just took it off, put the shoelace, I have a, the knots to the right uh, height that is comfortable for me. And a little of these knots here that are very easy to pull off, uh, I'm going to show you. So it's basically, that's the shoelace. So all you have to do is kind of a, do this, right? And then you put it in the, the strap. The strap button is this kind, like the mushroom type, as they call, because there's the other one that is kind of an inverted cone. But this is safer because you can put your shoelace string there and it will not slide through. So that's basically what I have done. Now, you guys probably will ask, well, you ha you're drilling a very expensive high-end classical guitar. Yes, I am, but the position where I'm doing it is what makes it more uh, practical. Because if you do it on the neck, as many people do in here, and then later you decide to sell the guitar or something, it's impossible to plug a piece of wood there and make it invisible. Other folks, like you have seen probably a video by Brandon Acker, where he put the strap button in here, and you have like a complicated detail because you have thin pieces of wood, they're making this kind of an inlay, and if you put a hole there, how are you going to fix that? Or in here, the same. I mean, this is Brazilian rosewood. It's a highly figured... So how are you going to match that? It's impossible. Or the same in here. Another option will be to put it here, or where you have the heel block. But the same thing. You, you can... You, probably you, you, you would like to make the hole apart from the center seam. But still, how are you going to match this? The, the cap, the heel cap, in this case, is a different piece of wood already. It's a looks like an ebony piece. The rest is Brazilian rosewood. And it's very small. It's very thin. So it's very easy to just take it off and put a new one in place. And you're going to block the, the hole. Nobody will ever see it. So, that's it. DIY solution cost me nothing. I mean, the pair of strap buttons costed me like less than three pounds and I just need one. So it took me about, what, five minutes to do it. I had the shoelace around. I had like an old camera strap around and that's it. I've never been happier with this position. Very, very comfortable. So, um, yeah. Another thing I forgot to tell you is how safe it is. I mean, I can lift my hands and stand up and the guitar will not fall. So that's another thing. It's very comfortable and safe. Nothing will happen to your guitar. Well, other than the hole that you're going to drill. So there you go.